Greetings, little viewer. The Good Tonight here. And today, we're doing not a review, but a period of instruction. And that period of instruction is on the casualty evacuation strap. Now, this is sort of an alternative to the more uh, brute force marine methods of removing someone injured from the battlefield. It's generally got your uh, the fireman carry, especially with the roll into it that scares normal people. Easy way to carry someone out of combat. Additionally, you also got the buddy drag, the CFT. Pretty common ways, but this one involves combining your plate carrier and your belt, and even to a degree your helmet system, into sort of like a makeshift gurney that's uh, a lot easier to move someone with. It's more comfortable if you're the guy getting dragged, which no one really wants to be, but in urban warfare, it's not just bad guy with pew pew, you also got like doors that want to be claymores, you got people who've played cat can way too much on Rainbow Six Siege, that sort of deal, so. This sort of setup, it's very cheap to produce, very simple. A lot of companies have started producing their own sort of like versions of it. And uh, they cost, they can cost a pretty penny in some instances, but generally you can get this whole setup going for like, what, 20, 30 bucks, depending on where you're shopping. All you really need is, well, outside of your belt, plate carrier, and helmet, that's like the most expensive part. You need one inch tubular, 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 tubular nylon, and yes, it is tubular, it makes a tube, if that's why you're asking. But yeah, I found about 9 feet of this to be optimal, roughly 9 feet-ish to work from, and work backwards from there. You'll need to know to tie two types of knots. Two types, easy peasy. So we're not going to have to go too hardcore into our uh, old Boy Scout knowledge here or anything, but two types of knots, we'll be discussing that momentarily. This is going to be my training tool for all of you. And effectively, which get, and, and the carabiner, of course. Carabiner or some type of like snap clip. Preferably, I would prefer an extra one of these guys that I got on my personal retention lanyard. It's not a, it's a semi-locking, but it's also huge and makes a lot of room for latching onto your belt, which is what I like. You can use normal, like, climbing carabiners. They might be a bit more challenging to get into the belt. They don't need to fully close. They just need to get that bottom hook under the belt so you can get dragged. So, with all that said, let's actually take a look on what the setup looks like. The setup should look something like this. There's a whole bunch of different ways you can set these things up. Generally, you want your carabiner with a overhand knot chilling out down there. Yeah, and then uh, run your straps through the two furthest most uh, pieces of molly on your back plate. I've seen a lot of uh, airsofters and uh, cool high speed kids running it through the center or kind of off on the sides. You want the farthest most because you're trying to make this into a very supportive gurney. Then you want your water knot up here at the top. And there's a lot of different ways you can use the extra material. I just uh, fold it back over and flop it down through the extra parts of the molly there. So I can still have access to my zippers, I can still run a back panel over this, but if I go down and go down fighting, there's a nice little handle here, someone could pull that and get me dragged to safety. Hopefully, for the most part. So, how's this all, actually I guess I might as well show you. So basically take this carabiner here, you want to pop that free, that's going to clip down into the belt. It doesn't need to close or anything, it just needs to get that underneath the belt. If you close it fully, you're not going to lose it but it should stay relatively secure in place. And then once that's all set, and you do go down, you pull this part right here, you just go whooshink, and that part's gonna go on the back of your helmet and get teach you how to tie all that and stuff. And you got a pretty solid system for moving you around. So let's, uh, let's take a look at that real quick before we get too much deeper into this uh, review here. So all right, period of instructions. So we're gonna pop this guy on. For this period of instruction, we are using a Cry AVS adaptive vest system. And it do be comfy. Go oh, chicken, set that up. So we got our plate carrier going. My good helmet is being used by one of my buddies on the range right now, so we're gonna be using a old school ProTech bicycle helmet. It's gonna be our go-to. So got that set up. Where's my where's my handle? Come here, use. Come here, use. You can't evacuate yourself. I know some of you are thinking about it because you got that whole back panel. Like, how do I get my, my flashbangs now? S similar issue. Can't evacuate yourself. You gotta have someone help you out with that. So we're gonna set that up right there real quick. I'm gonna take your carabiner when that's put free there. If you have friends, which you're probably gonna need them to use the set to begin with, you're gonna want them to set it up on your belt for you. If you're using a single belt or an overbelt like I got going on here with the uh, tier tactical one, you can get that going pretty easy, but uh, 
Otherwise, if you're doing just like a single piece, it's even easier. If you got this going through your pants and everything, you want to make sure you get that inner belt as well. So I think we, we kind of got it. The hook's in there. It's not closing all the way because it's a pain. I don't want to deal with it because I'm going to have to take it off soon enough. We got that going. We got our handle. So that effectively pulls up on the belt. Just going to pull off the seat of the pants. And these extra, where's there, these straps right here. You want to have them go right up close to the center of the head, basically. I think this might actually be a little on the shorter end. That hangs out there, and that gives you your head support while you're getting dragged away from all the nastiness that just went down. So that's the basic premise of it. That's everything right there from deployment and everything. Uh, uh, can't drag yourself. I've tried. Otherwise, you would get your whole troll face going on. You would just pull upwards and fly. It doesn't work that way. But I need this here because I can't grab it myself. Again, there's no need to do that, so. Easy stuff, you can see how the belt's gonna be pulling on the hips. And that's gonna get you your stable back platform and you can be comfortably removed. So how do you get all this set up? Some of you may be asking, well, let me pop this free right now. So I'll show you guys how to set it, how to reset it. If you guys are gonna be using this stuff, you probably wanna get trained on it. If you're gonna be training, you're going to be deploying it and uh, resetting it quite a bit. So, we looked at all that stuff real quick. Um, how to tie the knots. Now, this is the part where, not marriage. How to tie the knots in bachelors and come heavily armed. Tying the knots, overhand, pretty simple. Your two pieces here and you, well, you, you tie it over your hand. I know. Baffling. Like so. Bam! This is a little uh, loop here, you're going to want to put your carabiner through that connects to the bottom here and then in through the belt. So pretty easy peasy, right? The water knot on the other hand, for those not Boy Scout inclined, is going to take a bit more work. What you want to do, let's see if I can do this right the first time. Yeah, okay, so taking this bend, you want to come under, over the top, and around through. And you want it to look a lot like that, a little triangle thing going on here. The reason that's key is because you're going to take this other piece, you're going to want to come from where the other one ends, go around the back, and you're going to kind of like recreate that knot. You're going to recreate that knot, you're going to come up through here, and then, using some extra material, you're going to want to go through both of those holes. Yeah! You need a little double entry there, and then you tie that up, and there you go, there's your water knot. And that's the part that's going to go up on the top. You can uh, tape over it or whatever, but since it is one inch tubular or nylon, if you run into any issues, you're going to want to go ahead, work on getting that uh, swapped out. It's like I said, it's cheap, it's efficient, and you can do it yourself, which is the most important part. And once that's there, it's not gonna, it's not gonna go anywhere. You're gonna be pretty secure. So when you're setting that up, what you want to do is much like I was doing. You want to have this clipped into your belt. I'm not actually gonna do it because it's a huge pain. I need a larger carabiner for comfort. And when that's clipped into the belt, all you need to do is make sure you're wearing whatever helmet you're going to be using. And before you even tie the knot, you should probably get to know her. <laughs> Set this up here at the top of your head. Get a nice little grasp around the top. You know, like unicorn on the top of your head up here. And there's going to be a bit, of, a bit of movement depending on how your plate here and everything's going. But once that's set up, you're going to want to mark it with a pen or something. And then you're going to want to tie that down there. What you don't want is so much material that it can go over your head and end up in one of these nasty situations. No, no, no. You can save that for a different time. But that's pretty much all that goes into it, so... Hopefully, with that period of instruction, you now know how to set up your own Casavac strap. And now you don't need to pay a company a bunch of money. Um, you can get most of these things from a hardware store, or like rock climbing gym or something of that nature. And, uh, yeah, now you can reduce your chance of becoming a casualty in an urban environment. So, that's all I got for you guys. If you have any questions about it, just let me know down below. And, uh, yeah, cheers. Stay chill, boys. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.